how do you become an underwater archaeologist? I mean, what's the process? Who do you work for? I mean, you know, when you when you graduate and you are credentialed, like what types of jobs are you going to be looking for? What are the job posts out there? And and kind of what is the pinnacle? Like, is there a like, you know, a pinnacle of of the industry where you're doing this type of underwater archaeology versus this type? I'm, I'm curious because I really don't know. Um, how I'll you let become. you know as soon as I figure it out because <laughs> okay. I'm I'm so I'm still working on my bachelor's degree. I'm not even close to uh, getting there, but I, I it's a path I want to go down. Um, so as far as because I, I just recently joined a um a non for profit five hundred one three C yeah whatever yeah. the tax code. I'm not a accountant. Uh, Thank um, God. Yeah. <laughs> um, no offense, so accountants just, out there. My I just, brain doesn't work that way. Yeah, no. Oh, God, I, I can't do numbers like that. Um, but I just joined a um, an organization. It's a non-for-profit that does uh, underwater archaeological stuff. And they have a – they're they're partners with the Nautical Association – Nautical Archaeological Association, the NAS. Um, and they do training. The, the NAS is mostly a European thing, but they do have some tie-ins here in the state in the States. And, uh, they, uh, they put volunteers and people that signed up for this 501 point, this 5013 C this non for profit through the NAS training for documentation and measurements and, um, all that stuff. So you, you can go and I mean, even just like regular archeology, span you can look up like historical trusts and stuff for your state, like the Maryland historical trust. They look for volunteers to help out on digs and they'll like you show up on site and they teach you how to dig and they set you up with someone more experienced and you work under the uh, supervision of a credentialed archeologist who is conducting the studies. So, if you want to just get into archaeology in general, you could start there. You can look for the non-for-profits that are established because the non-for-profits are really just established as basically businesses to get grant money to go and do this stuff, mm -hmm. to work for you know governments or universities. Um, so you can look up uh, any of these historical trusts or any of these non-for-profits and see if you can get involved through that. Uh, if you actually want to be an archaeologist you need some sort of uh formal training or education through a university um so basically a master's or a phd in anthropology archaeology history um something like that but internships and volunteerism are a great way to start building your resume and start getting involved in it yeah so in other words you know there isn't a a specialty course to go get a C card for this, right? So there are, there are there, some, oh, there are. Okay. Well, they're, they're, they're not like a, it's not like a certification course you can get at your local dive shop. Um, right, right, right. They do have like scientific diving cards and stuff like that. But for the most part, if you're going to actually get into the, the meat and potatoes of true archaeological study, you have to go through a university. And there are some universities that offer courses and master's degrees in underwater archaeology as a specialization. No. So there's um, there's one program at ECU that I've been looking at for um, underwater archaeology, and they've got uh, all sorts of classes that go into like ship reconstruction and stuff like that. There's one at Texas A&M. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, uh, another one in my, at Miami university, Florida, I right? think, yeah. yeah, has an underwater archeology span program. So it's out there. Um, yeah, I think there's only like three or four in the whole country that I, with my research that I found that actually do this as a as master's a or PhD program. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, that I know, but if you can find more, let me know. Cause I'm going to have to apply to all of them eventually. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Exactly. So the, yeah. the accuracy by volume at that point, one of them has to accept me into the 